everyone, Achiki here, and it's Wednesday, so that means it's time for another DCO base showcase here on the channel. And today I got another very special one lined up for you guys. So, Blight actually registered with Real Zoe and myself for our base crafter show quite a while ago. Uh, I think we actually featured one of their bases on episode three, I think it was. It was a castle in the manor theme. It was really lovely. I'll link it up above if you guys missed it. I think it's like the third or fourth one we visited? I'm not quite sure. But anyway, since Base Crafters is on hiatus and Blight has quite a few bases, and until we make our triumphant return, <laughs> I figured I would showcase one of their other bases here on the channel. So without further ado, why don't we go check out Blight's Cobra Bunker. <laughs> I'm pretty amped for this because uh, I don't really get a lot of industrial or bunker type bases. There's a lot of vernal stuff, a lot of mystically stuff. I think Blight's pretty far down on my teleporter, actually. Oh, yep. There we go. Oh, Silent Castle. That was the base that we turned on base crafters. So yeah, go check that out. So let's head over here. But yeah, I don't get too many tech or, um, well, that's not true. I've, I've seen a few uh, House of Legends bases, like really high, high tech, but nothing like grungy tech. And I feel like this is probably, if it's a bunker. I'm hoping for a bunker theme. Yes! <laughs> this is a, I, I don't get very many bases in the bunker theme these days, and I'm really happy somebody's using it. That's cool. <laughs> Cobra! <laughs> this is awesome. So start off, of course, lots of sandbags and the turrets above, keeping out unwanted uh, G.I. Joes. <laughs> I need to preface too, I'm not very big into the Cobra G.I. Joe lore that kind of missed me as a kid. Like, I think it was a generation before me, uh, unfortunately. And I had, didn't really get into, like, the resurgence in the 2000s either. So if I miss something, please, any G.I. Joe fans, let me know. <laughs> Ooh, so we have a monitoring station. I also like the, the use of the bombshell posters here. It's really nice. Munition storage, gear storage, lockers, lots of security cameras and guns, of course. Perfect for a bunker. <laughs> and I love the Cobra emblem. Yes, it's so great. I really hope in the future, oh yeah, the Valentine's Day stuff just dropped too when I'm filming this, I think. And uh, there are some paintings that also you can put emblems on in your base. I hope we get more stuff like that because this, this is really cool and customizable. So I love that. Ooh, Killer Frost. Yeah, these are the... Oh, man. I really like the, the ones from the Marketplace, the bombshell posters, because I don't get to see them too often. I like how they're all villain ones so far, too. <laughs> oh, got a containment cell here. I wonder if there's a... G.I. Joe lurking about inside. <laughs> Having been captured. More guns, of course. Nice. So this is area two. So we had one back here, I noticed. Let me just double check. Yeah, there's one. So we have two. <laughs> Reminds me of Grand Thesis base, too, with all the, uh, the numbers in the bunker, too. Ah, oh, it's so good. You guys are great. Such creativity and use of items. I love it. This is a great place to put a tank in the bunker theme. Because it really fills out the space here. This open space. Very nice. Definitely fits the base too. Also, I'm noticing that there's quite a bit of gold here too. So Cobra's definitely been uh, plundering quite a bit. They're on the uptake here. <laughs> Let's go check out upstairs here. We have, ooh, we have a tech hub. Yes, okay. So lots of different areas, monitoring station probably. Lots of different areas being scouted out. This also reminds me of uh, James Bond, Goldeneye, that I used to play. When they were like, I don't know. I don't know why it does. <laughs> Just the old like, Bunker vibes and, and, and the the munitions on the walls. Oh my. Lots of cash and, and valuable documents, I'm assuming, here. 
Next to the bank, of course. <laughs> nice, I love the pot of gold, too, to reference that. That's, that's awesome. <laughs> very cool. Very, very cool. All right, and again, all the Cobra banners around are fantastic. That's a really nice touch. All right, let's head back downstairs here. I guess we haven't been down here, so not back, but let's go downstairs. Area four. Oh, did I miss the three? I bet the three's upstairs. There's three upstairs somewhere and I missed it. No, oh, where's the three at? Is that, is there like not a three? Like, is that like one of the ones they, I know like there's a weird, like, for some reason there's like not a number given. <laughs> Like, I don't know why, like, but some, some of the numbers are missing with those uh, cell number plaques, so. <laughs> Not sure what that's about. Alright, I'm gonna say three is upstairs, so this is four. Very cool. Again, more gold. And whoa, stockpiles and stockpiles of munitions, of course. It is the Cobra base, after all. <laughs> Ooh, we have a gym area here, too. Very nice. Breaking news. And all the bombshell posters. Yeah, this is great. <laughs> that's right. The bunker theme gives you, like, the army guy. So that's perfect. Like, they're beating up G.I. Joes. Bam! Oh. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Uh... <laughs> you know what? I should probably leave and... I don't know. I, I feel like Cobra, despite uh, them just being coasters, probably wouldn't take uh, too kindly to anybody breaking their stuff. So, you know. <laughs> and then we have all the armories. Oh, this is great. I'm assuming these are different Cobra members. I should have looked up like different Cobra members before I before I came in here. So hopefully, somebody out there can let me know what kind of outfits these are, or if they are. Like actual cobra outfits. Ooh, either way, they're very nice. The comic shader is great. <gasps> okay, this is like, these are my favorite areas right here. Workshop areas with scattered papers and like close knit things and posters. Ah, it's just so cozy and great. Oh, I love it so much. <laughs> Excellent. That's really good. This is, yeah, this is, I just, I just love little, little workshop research nooks like this, especially when they're like aged like this, so like actual drafting paper and blueprints. It's very fun. I love it. Ooh, and two more outfits. Very nice. Of course, got the Cobra symbol. <laughs> and then another storage area. And with that, I think that is the end of our tour. So thank you so much, Blight, for inviting me over. I really appreciate it. And thank you guys so much for watching. Um, again, if you are seeing this, I think you have just a couple of days left to get your entries in for Base Off A Decade in Decor. As always, I will leave the, uh, what is it, the link to the video announcement down below so you guys can figure out... Uh, you know how to enter <laughs> and all that good stuff and all the prize pools and all that if you're if you're interested so uh but yeah thank you again so much for watching and thank you blight again a ton and yeah with that i think we're finished for the day so i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i will catch you in the next one take care everybody